I'm Janice. I teach science here in Clearwater, Florida, and I'm here to talk to you today about how you do some calculations in chemistry. In other words, how you work with calculations for grams, and also maybe how you would work with calculations for volume. So, in chemistry, calculations uh, differ depending on what the substance is and, and how you're actually doing the measuring. So, a lot of times in chemistry equations, we are having to convert from grams to moles. Sometimes we have to go the other way. We have to convert from moles to grams. Well, conversions having to do with grams are all based on something that we call atomic mass. So each compound, something like, let's say, NaCl, which is table salt, the mass of that is determined by the mass of each of the individual elements in there. So I would go to the periodic table and I would look up how much sodium weighs. And it actually weighs 23 grams per mole. And I might see how much chlorine weighs, and that's going to be 35.5 grams per mole. I would add those together and I would have 58.5 grams in one mole of salt. So again, grams are typically um, converted by using atomic mass from the periodic table. Now volume is a different story because volume is actually constant for all gases. Okay, the conversion is the same for all gases. There's always 22.4 liters of a gas in one mole of the gas. So when I'm using, doing any kind of calculations involving, involving volume, um, and I'm typically using um, calculations from a problem where I'm converting, let's say, from one substance to another, I would always say that there were 22.4 liters in one mole of whatever gas I was trying to measure. And again, that's going to be constant, whereas atomic mass, when you're dealing with grams, that's going to change for every single compound. So I'm Janice, and that's how you would do some work with calculations for grams and volume in chemistry.